let me bring on Teresa Gallus with us. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Jessica. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for joining us today. Um, Teresa, give us a quick 30 second to a minute rundown of who you are and how long you've been in the industry and what you do for Janice. Yeah, absolutely. So my name is Teresa Gallus. I am the Midwest Sales Manager for Janice International. I also handle key accounts for Noki throughout the country, and I also help on conversion projects pretty much anywhere. So I spend a lot of my time looking at buildings, walking sites, and just getting to nerd out on storage with, with my peers. I have been in the storage industry for over a decade. I actually did my first eight years with the SBOA and the self-storage under David and Ian as well. Awesome. Thanks for that introduction. And now, like I said, we're going to talk about something different today. You had a very integral and huge role, from my understanding, in the creation of the Women's Council for the National SSA. So we're just going to have a brief chat about that. So kind of walk me through, how did that vision and everything all come together? So it's a it's an awesome opportunity to kind of chat about what's what we've been doing and what the industry was, was already evolving into. Um, I know that Ann Ballard and Carol Shipley and Tracy Sells, all of them had been meeting uh, years and years before this became a, a, an official part of the agenda of the SSA shows. But essentially, since I've been in the business, I had been networking and leaning on my friendships with other women in the space. They helped me grow. I, you know, we all worked as a collective unit to help each other grow and and network and 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 teach each other stuff. I always sought out other women to lean into and, and to learn from. And that really evolved into, instead of just grabbing dinners or then having a happy hour with with my um, my friends and my peers and my mentors, we were we approached the SSA and, and asked to become a more official part of their offerings to the membership. Awesome. And when you approached the SSA, were there any initial objections? Yeah, I think there was a little bit, not by the SSA necessarily, but I think with all new things, um, sometimes people may push back, just change is not always accepted as, as well as it should be. It was sure. very little, but at the same time, we just wanted to make sure that it was positioned as a group because what, a, what it is, is just a chance for people to network and to learn from one another in a forum that is understanding of the many roles that we all wear. And so, or, you know, work in. So we didn't have much, but we certainly had to kind of pave the way. And I'm glad we did because we started with just, I think our first meeting, maybe had 10, 12 people at a show to the last one where we had a few hundred and we have, you know, sponsorships that are just lining up. So it's really cool to see how involved the industry has been in, in, in our group, as well as just vendors and, and members. It's really cool. Yeah, I've, I've heard that from many people that the room did start off very small um, and now mm -hmm. it's grown. I, I actually love coming to all of the different yeah. networking sessions that you, you and your team put on at all of the SSA shows. Um, and you guys have a new program. It's the mentor program. Explain to me what the mentor program is so the industry can learn about that. Absolutely. And so just, just to give a shout out to Ginny over at the SSA is really who's been vital in putting this all together and helping, sure. you know, keep everything front and center of the industry. And then my, my, I call my teammates, but the other council members, um, Michelle Bakva, uh, Alyssa Quill and Anastasia Malagisi and Jackie Hogan, we are all involved in every aspect. The mentor program is our newest initiative and is one that we work on constantly. And it's just to, um, pair people who want to learn more from another woman in the industry that would like to share their wisdom and their experience. So you can either be a mentor or a mentee or sometimes both, right? Um, you never stop learning in this business. And, and Ian said in the, the first track, this is an industry where people are really friendly and really open to sharing what works and what doesn't work. And the mentorship is exactly that, but on a one-to-one -one scale. Yeah, and that's, that's quite an awesome program that you guys have uh, gathered together for the people out there that are interested in that. Um, and again, for you know people that are veterans or newer into the space, all can participate, which is really awesome. And I, I do love this industry. It is very friendly industry. Yeah. All the competitors remain friendly. Um, mm -hmm. And there's always you know tons of opportunity for uh, info share, industry knowledge, resources, et cetera. So if I'm someone, if I'm a... a female in the industry. Tell me how I can get involved in this great council. 
So the easiest way to do it is to go on LinkedIn or Facebook. You'll find our SSA Women's Council groups. You're also, uh, if you're an SSA member, very easy to just, you know, you can reach out to Ginny. You can reach out to myself. You can reach out to, I think Jessica would even help. So uh, <laughs> I, I would. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure you would. And, and there's a lot of us that are just, will always point you in the right direction. That's something that you can bet on with, with the women in our space. We always want to help. Awesome. Now there's a fee for the national SSA membership. There's fees for the state level. Um, I'm mm -hmm. part of the young leaders group. I think you are as well. I think that mm -hmm. fee for the year is like a hundred dollars. It's very minimal. Is there a fee to participate mm -hmm. in the women's council currently? There's no fee. So it is part of your SSA membership and we are trying to keep it that way. Um, so I don't foresee it, but it is, you do need to be an SSA member and I mean the SSA membership just the rewards in that alone, the benefits just more than out, more than pay for it. Awesome. Any sneak peeks you can give us into what's coming in 2022 for the council that you so, know of? So we're planning, <laughs> we have a call in a couple of weeks to kind of lay out our plan for 2022, but we had a lot of feedback just online about some things that people would like to see. And so we're, I'm starting to see more chapters being created across the um, the country on the state level. So I'm excited to watch that kind of continue to roll out. And um, and then I would say that we just have more outings is kind of what we're looking at, more planned events. We had great success with the, just some of our um, segments in our, our sort of like, you know, just these, you know, webinars. Um, and this is not sure. a webinar, by the way, this is much, much better, but uh, <laughs> thank we, you. We had some good tracks on our, on, on just that. That's awesome. We have a couple more minutes before we wrap up. Anything else related to the Women's Council you think you could tell us, or if you want to give us some info into Janice and the Noki lock system? I mean, I just saw um, someone post this morning that they're doing, I want to say it was a 2000 square foot expansion and all of those units are going to be Noki lock units. And maybe you can talk a little bit about that while we have a couple more minutes remaining. Yeah, so um, at Janus, I do focus on doors, hallways, conversions, expansions. Uh, and again, I, I also help on the Noki Smart Locks. I know that there's a session coming up later today where our um, corporate trainer essentially for Noki will be speaking, Jen Shaver. And I'm excited to see that because she is a wealth of knowledge having worked at a site that had Noki in place to today where she's training on a corporate level. So Noki is definitely... Uh, I want to say it's an evolution, but it's also been around longer than I think people realize too. It's just a way for you to automate a lot of the the um, manual processes like Overlock and to having an app that's related to Noki. You're able to take payments. Um, again, the Overlock process means you're no longer going out to the site to tag the units when somebody hasn't made payment or having to remove them when they have. It systematically and programmatically does that. So that's a big thing that I love. Um, I'm, I'm a huge fan of a hybrid approach to managing your facility and doing business in the way that people want to do it. So people like me, if I can have it on my phone and I don't have to stop and talk or I can rent a unit after hours, that's, that's how you're going to capture me. Now that doesn't, I'm not one size fits all, right? So having a manager there or a way for somebody to be there to ask questions of them, I um, may make other uh, tenants more comfortable. So marrying those things and figuring out what makes the most sense for your business um, is, is something that Noki can assist in. Awesome. Well, thank you for today's session. And I know mm -hmm. it was a quick one, but I just wanted you to be able to come on, talk about the Women's Council. For any of the audience that's interested in getting connected with Teresa or Janice to learn more about not just Noki, they have other, they have portable products, um, you guys have a slew of things going on. Becco's part of your umbrella now. Access Control Technologies is under your umbrella now. So if anyone wants to connect, um, you can go to the participating company section and go to either Becco or Janice to get in touch with either one of those teams. Teresa, thanks again for joining us today and being part of the uh, the industry. We, we love what you guys are doing over there at the Women's Council. Thank you for putting that together Thank for you. us females in the industry. We do appreciate it. And thank you for this amazing um, show today. This virtual conference has been bar none the best. So very nice job. Thank you. I appreciate it. A lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of juggling things going on. So if you <laughs> see my eyes wandering, I promise there's a good reason. So okay. again, thanks for joining thank us. You.